Yo, what's up guys? It's your boy Mr. OG here coming at you with another video. So you, I know you guys are really curious on how you're going to beat this thing right here in front of me. It is the mech. The thing that is going on right now in Fortnite that is annoying everybody. Everybody wants to get nerfed and eventually it will get nerfed. I, be I believe it will be. There's a conspiracy around why Fortnite does this to try to get some more clout and get everybody talking about their new update. Uh, but anyways, beyond that, um, that's for another video. Uh, this mech has 1,000 hit points. It is going to be something hard to take out. Honestly, it has a two-seater, so it can fit two players at a time. It has a bottom and a top, and honestly, this thing is a little bit easier to take out than most people believe. Um, so exploring just a little bit more, I'm going to show you guys real quick what I'm talking about. Um, so the mech has a seat on the top for one player, and uh, that player is actually vulnerable. He is not safe. He can still get blasted if you break that shield that's at the top. He has a shotgun and rockets. Now, you, the most dangerous thing about this robot is probably the rockets and the stomp that gives it the mats. So basically, each rocket does 50 damage or destroys one build, and it shoots a massive amount of rockets. I've used it in Arena before to get multiple kills. Everybody's triggered, blah, 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 blah. So, just so you guys know, you are not safe when you're on this thing. That shield that you have on the top can break. Not only that, but when you're on this thing, you're actually vulnerable no matter where you are sitting. You can actually get sniped off of that spot right there. It is not something that actually like, protects you. It is something that has like some hit points that can take some damage. But honestly, I've been shot off before this thing. You know, it's nothing too impossible to take out. So I'm going to be giving you guys some tips, tricks on how to take this thing out clearly, easily in any game mode. Honestly, if you're in solos, that is probably the easiest way to take it out. Because you can just hop in and self-destruct this thing. There's a button for self-destructing and it'll easily take the other player inside out but yeah let me just give you guys a demonstration of the rockets so the rocket barrage is really something that you're gonna watch out for honestly I think it's insane it does so much damage it's not even funny um, but that is one of the massive things that you guys don't worry about there's a shotgun blaster and uh, yeah, this thing is not impossible to take out. If, if you are in uh, solos going against this thing, your best bet is to get in, to get in the robot itself and self-destruct. Now, the player that's already inside, I wouldn't be afraid to confront him because, honestly, um, he can only be in one of the two spots at once. So he can either be shooting at you with uh, the shotgun and the rockets and not be able to move, or he can be in the bottom part we're running around jumping around and that's probably stomping you know is the worst thing that you could probably watch out for you can build and ignore that it's not really that big of a deal um so either way he's very vulnerable that's probably why if this thing doesn't receive a nerf it's still beatable easily once people get used to it um because you can get shot off of either position you're on and you can only shoot and then you can't run or you can run but you can't shoot so those are some of the things that kind of balance it out a little bit um and uh yeah if you are fighting this thing in like end zone end game or something you, your best bet is to start lasering it the minute you see it because it is not going to be an easy thing to do yeah but just some quick tips on how to take this thing out honestly just you know lasering it from far away he, he cannot you know shoot at everybody at the same time his rockets do have a certain range that they can reach after that they explode uh i've tried to shoot at somebody some people actually a guy that did something really smart was uh he shot me from the zip line and honestly it's almost impossible to hit somebody from the zip line when you're on this robot. You know, your shotgun can only go so far. Your rockets can't really hit a single target that's moving on the zip line. So one of the best ways to fight this thing is while you're on a zip line, because that really does help. And he can't really shoot you from anywhere. You might have to actually get off the rock and fight you mano a mano. But yeah, this thing is really, uh, it's overpowered in some senses, but it's also a little bit balanced in terms of its mechanics. And uh, yeah, it's not really, Something too insane that you can't beat. What's probably going to happen with the nerf is that they're probably going to nerf the missiles. The amount of missiles it shoots. And the amount of mats that you receive from the stomp. Probably the range from the stomp as well. And maybe even the hit points will take some hits. Because uh, honestly I feel like this is... Uh, someone actually brought it to my attention that this might be... This might be a marketing scene by Fortnite in order to get more... Uh, you know clout basically around their uh robot and update because basically you know it's like uh everybody's complaining about this problem 
And some people are like, what? so what about the problem? They're going to go check it out, and it's going to just bring more and more attention to it. Until finally, that's why it's been happening every season. They release something really OP, something overpowered, like the sword, the ballers, um, the drum gun when they re-released it. You know, everything that they re have released gets nerfed because they want publicity to come around it. They want people like Tifu tweeting out, remove this from the game, vault this from the game. Everybody's Then everybody else is going to hop on the train like, yeah, hey, remove this from the game. Everybody's going to be trying to, you know, give it more and more attention. And then the more attention it receives, the more attention to overall Fortnite receives as the game, bringing more people to try and solve the problem, solve the problem, and then Fortnite's just going to be making more money, so it's, you know, it's still like a business tactic. But other than that, I think, you know, basically some simple things about the robot is, if you're in solos, make sure you hop in one of the robots that the person's in and self-destruct the thing that'll send him running. Honestly, dude, this thing is a blast radius, so you're going to want to get away yourself. This thing can kill you if you don't start building. Even if you do build, this might still do some damage to you. If you're in duos, you know, honestly, it might, it's at its most OP because it's meant for two people. And it's going to be something really hard to deal with. You're, you could probably just try and shoot the people off of the seats. That's going to be your best bet. Shoot the people off of the seats and or make sure you keep your distance. And if you're in squads, honestly, um, this will be a lot harder and easier to take out. Because if you take out their teammates, shoot and aim for their teammates, they're going to have to hop out of the robot to go after their teammates if they are alone solo you know again if they're a solo person inside the robot just hop in destroy it self destroy hop around him get around him he can only be shooting or he can only be walking at one out of do one or the other so it's kind of like a high risk high reward type of thing and that's what happens when you don't get out of the way but if you guys enjoyed this video make sure you guys smash that like button if you guys are new to the channel consider subscribing if you guys have any more questions please comment down below and thank you guys so much for watching with your g's signing out